Hello? Hello, David? Yes, this is David. Hey, it's Roy from the computer repair. You brought in your computer. Yes. And uh, I just needed a... Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got it all fixed and upgraded. It's ready to be picked up and everything. Oh, okay. And uh, I needed to let uh, you know that um, we didn't have your password to get in the computer, so I just had to reset your password. So um, I need to tell... That's, that's I, no problem. Okay, I need to tell you what the password is. Oh. It's easy to remember. You don't even have to write it down. Uh, well, I'm going to write it down. Okay. <laughs> it may be easy to remember, but that doesn't mean anything for me. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where am I going to write it? Write it on your hand. All right, go ahead. All right, the new password is I love boobs. But I spell love like L-U-V. Ca- all caps? No, no. It's a uh, capital I and then space. L U V, uh-huh. you know, capital L and then U V, space, boobs, uh-huh. capital B and then lowercase O O B S. Okay. I love uh, boobs. Can you read okay, it back? Very good. Read it back and make sure you got it right. I think I got it. What's it say? What'd you write? Uh, I got it written right here. W- what's it say? Who is this? What'd you write? You work for. Yes. That's a really ridiculous password. Why? Is, what's ridiculous about it? I got it. When can I pick up the computer? Oh, it's ready right now. Um, uh, I, I've got it at my home right now because I, I brought your computer home with me last night. Um, I was just, uh, you know, just making sure it works and I looking at websites while I was in bed last night. So uh, I just got to drive it back to the store before they notice that it's missing. But it should be ready within 30 minutes. It just takes me 30 minutes to get to the store. And I can pick this up where? At the store. Where? What location? You don't remember where you brought your computer? What the hell? I need you, I need you to tell me. Okay. All right, good. I'll come pick it when, up. When you, you go into the store, make a turn to the right. Go through, go, go, th- go through the little the ropes, you know? The little maze of ropes. Yep. Stand in line and wait till gotcha. they say, can I help you, sir? All right. Thank you very much. So what password did you have? I'm not, I'm not going to say that. Why can't you? Are you gay? Don't you like boobs? You're listening to the Snowplow Show for June 20th, 2018. This is episode 476, and it's brought to you by Brown Magic, Kuraz, Gobi, I Regret Jumping, and Teen Wolf Jesus. Thanks, all five of you, for supporting the show on the Patreon over at patreon.com slash phone losers. Just think, everyone, if you supported this show on the Patreon, you would have been able to hear the prank calls from this show several hours earlier, maybe a day earlier, because I don't know if I'm going to get this show posted today. I might, but maybe not. So since I wasn't sure, I went ahead and just posted the edited pranks up on Patreon earlier. And you also get a secret show every week. That definitely makes it worth the $5 a month. I would do it if I weren't the host. If you're new to this show, this is a show where I make prank calls to people. Believe it or not, I mean, I know prank calling completely died out in the 1990s with the advent of caller ID and now today, where everybody texts instead of talking, nobody picks up their phone anymore. So it would be impossible to make prank calls in this day and age. But somehow I still manage to do at least three shows a week where I call up people and irritate the crap out of them. It's almost as if that constant stream of articles I read online saying that prank calling died decades ago didn't bother to Google prank calling and notice that there's an insane number of prank call shows out there and prank call channels on YouTube. People still doing it today. I saw another one of those articles this week. I didn't even save it. I'm not going to link to it. They're all the same. Prank calling is a thing that happened in the past, long, long ago. It just doesn't work anymore today. They always throw in a hilarious bit in there about, is your refrigerator running? It's great journalism. Anyway, oh yeah, we're doing a show here. It's about prank calls. But just a few things real quick. Number one, 
I did a show with Not Brad today. It was fun. It was one of those call-in shows. People called in, asked questions, said weird things to us. Me and Not Brad had fun doing that. Thanks, Not Brad, for being on the PLA show. I will have a link to that in the show notes. Right now, it's only on Facebook, but pretty soon I will get it on the feed on phonelosers.org and on the YouTube and all that stuff in another day or two, probably, because I'm kind of busy this week. Tomorrow, I'm going to be on the Cave Crew radio show with Big B and Choo Choo Stew and DK. That happens in the evenings, right around 6 p.m. Pacific time, I believe. I think I should probably figure that out so I'm not late. So be sure to be listening to that Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific. Maybe it's 7 p.m. Pacific. I don't know. Go look at cavecrewradio.com or look up Cave Crew Radio on Facebook. That's where they broadcast from. I'll be on there tomorrow. And then on Friday, I'm doing another PLA show with Laugh Track Matt. So that should be fun. Me and him haven't done a show in a while. We'll be taking calls for about an hour. I don't know what time yet. Probably at nighttime, though. I'm bad at knowing times today. Anyway, let's get started with today's show. Hello. Hey, Thomas. It's Roy from the New York Gaming Center. Um, I'm just Hi. calling to let you know they're going to be shutting down your simulated reality here in the next year. And they wanted me to ask you if you'd like to be transferred into a new simulation. What? The the um are are you I I'm not sure you're aware of this or not but you're uh you're actually in a simulation a simulated reality and uh, they're going to be shutting this one down they're shutting down a whole bunch of servers so basically if you don't move to a new server your existence is just going to disappear so we've got a few options for you we can transfer you over if you'd like okay. Uh, you can be uh, Chuck Markowski. You'd be working at a, an Advance Auto Parts in Paducah, Kentucky. What are my other options? Uh, you can, um, let's see, you'd, you'd be on the board of, the, of a homeowners association. You'd live on Pelican Avenue in North Carolina. Sound good? We don't have any like high-level stuff right now. You know, that's all taken by in, important people. Uh. And he hung up. He sure was amused, though. I was listening to Hobosode 51, and I was trying to do something similar, but I was saying I was from EA Games, and one of our users wanted to shut off the game, and we couldn't just shut it off because they'd become sentient. Something like that. Nobody believed it, though. So I was thinking maybe a different approach. Probably something better than I'm with New York Games. What could I say, though? I don't know. I guess I could just say the Chamber of Commerce. That's a code word for uh, for the Gaming Commission. I don't know. This is probably going to go nowhere. This is stupid. Hello? Hey, Holly. It's Roy from the Chamber of Commerce. Hi. Um, hi. I needed to let you know. Um, they, they want me to call up everyone here in, on this server and let them know that they you live in a simulated reality, reality and they're going to be shutting this uh, server off soon. So... They, they wanted to know if you wanted to be transferred into a, a new game. Um, I have no idea what you're even talking about. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't sure if you knew or not. Um, like, you, you, your existence is actually inside of a computer. Like, uh, everything around you is just a, just a simulation. And <laughs> this is a joke. No, no, it's completely real. I know this is kind of a shock. I have to make these calls all day. I just... We're getting ready to uh, transfer. We're, we're moving servers, so we can switch you over to. Who's moving servers? Who's we? The uh, the uh, it's it's sort of like an internet. It's hard to explain from your perspective because we don't have the same things in our world that you have in your world. But basically, your entire life is going to be shut down, rebooted, and we can send you off into a, a new world if you'd like. Okay, this sounds crazy. Take me off your list. No, I know. Bye -bye. It sounds crazy, but it's for real. And we, we can oh. set you up with uh, one of t 10 different uh, possible lives. But if you don't pick, they're just going to shut you off. And you just want to... Okay, you let wanna... them shut me off and I'll solve it then. Thank you. You're not going to exist anymore, oh. though. 
Well, I'm definitely getting people to listen a little bit more with this approach. So that's good. It's still not going anywhere, of course, but they're not hanging up quite as often. Hello? Hello, Jim? Yeah. That's... Hey, Jim, this is uh, Roy from the Chamber of Commerce. How can I help you? Uh, I, I needed to let you know we're going to be rebooting the, the server to your, uh, uh, to your simulated reality this, uh, this coming week, and we needed to find out if you'd like to be transferred to a new server. You know, your, right. your existence? No, you got the wrong number. Oh, no, no, I'm sure I've got the right person. This is Jim, right? You got the wrong number. No. I don't do anything like that. Oh, no, no, you don't understand. Like, your life, your existence, it's actually, uh, you live in a simulated reality. <laughs> so hey, You know what? Why do you call people and fuck with them like this? Goodbye. Wh what are you talking about? I'm not fucking with you. I'm. What was that about? Holy shit. Is he like an ex-listener of my show? That was a weird response. Really, I should be writing, the, I should write something out, you know? Like I should have something ready, like a speech prepared, a good way to let them know they live in a simulated reality, like a good way to break it to them. Hello. Hey, Kevin. Yes, sir. It, it's Roy from the Chamber of Commerce. I'm sorry, Roy from who? For, from the, the city, the Chamber of Commerce. I'm having a hard time understanding who we are from, Roy. Oh, from the Chamber of Commerce. I'm with the gaming... Oh! Yeah. Oh, okay, so what's up? What's uh, going on? I needed to let you know, um, th you're, you're living in a simulated reality, it turns out. And uh, they're going to be rebooting the server. So pretty much our existence is going to just blink, you know, just just go away. And they want me to call up everyone and ask if you want to be transferred to a new server. Uh, is it on this planet? Well, it, like the planet, this planet doesn't exactly exist. Oh, but yeah. you'd be on a new yeah. server and like you'd have a new life. Everyone you know would be gone, but you would still exist. I love it, man. Huh? When do, when do, how, do you, how do you sign me up? Uh, well, no, you're already signed up. I'm just letting you know, like, uh, if you'd like, we can transfer you to another server. I just needed your confirmation that you wanted to do that. Oh, not right now. You're kidding me. I want to hang out and make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, well, no, it, it'll happen. It's going to happen at the end of this week, like uh, Saturday okay. at noon. Uh, no, but, I'm going to hang out then. I'm going to hang out. But, but hang if out. you'd like, I'll, I'll go ahead and sign you up, and then that way when it happens, you won't blink out of existence. Instead, you'll just uh, pop into a, a new... A new uh, simulation. No, sir. I do not want to do it. You're, you're going to be uh, like, like the head of a homeowners association in Virginia. I am uh, a, a person of a routine. i got to stay with the routine and see what happens. Yeah, but the routine is not going to exist anymore. They're shutting down the server. They're, they're setting you up on a new one. Like, That's like all right with me. The, the server's, That's okay with me. The server's been running. I don't, even for, use my, I don't even use my server. You can throw it out. No, you do use it. I, I don't think you understand what's going on. You, you live in a simulated reality. Nothing around you is real. Like all the people you know, they're just computer-generated holograms. That's cool shit, man. That's cool stuff. Yeah, but they're not going to exist in a little bit, so we need to get you moved to a new server, unless you'd rather just blink out of existence and not be around anymore. Like you won't know that you're... Uh -huh that you don't exist anymore. You just won't Let exist. Let me ask my wife about it and get back with you. Okay, there's something you need I'm to not... know. Your wife is a uh, NPC. She's a non-playable character. Oh, no. This is getting better by the minute, man. I I'm serious, sir. I'm not kidding around at all. She's she's not... Like, you're, you're just part of a, a test group of people. There were just uh, a thousand of you, around a thousand, and uh, everyone else in on the on what you know as the planet... They're they're all NPCs. That's why okay. they have uh, limited, you know, communication functions. And you know, I, you know what? I look at anything as possible, and all we can do is ride the wave, man. We just gotta ride this wave. That's true, but the wave is going to blink out of existence on Saturday at noon. So, do you want to be moved to the new server? What do I gotta do to sign up? Just let, just confirmation over the phone right now. I can go ahead and sign you up on Saturday at noon. You'll you'll just instantaneously be um, in a new place, new house. Uh, what takes what takes what what what's it takes you to get signed up? 
I, I'm telling you, like, if you just say yes, I'll, I'll go ahead and sign you up. On, on, it'll take place uh, Saturday at noon. That's when the switchover happens. That's not going to happen. Uh, that I cannot do. I cannot do that. Okay, well, it's either you go to the new existence or you just don't exist anymore. I'm, I'm asking right, if you want to be moved let to Let me these. ask my wife if I can say that word because I don't know, man. She may, she may blow my brains out. No, no. Especially if she's an NPG or something, you know. No, well, no, she doesn't know that she's an NPC. Don't tell her because it'll probably upset her. Okay. Just, just don't, don't tell her. Like she, she basically, she doesn't have a soul or anything. She's, she's just a, you know, just a program running on a loop. Just make sandwiches, I'm whatever, not, whatever. Boy, I'm not signing up. I'm not signing up. Okay. Wish All right. Well, luck. you're just gonna, you're just gonna disappear then. Wish me luck, man. Wish me luck. Yeah. Well, no, there's no luck needed. You're, you're just, uh, you know, the server's gonna be shut down. They're gonna repurpose it for something else. What? I can't wait to see, man. Sandy, I'm gonna sit right here. Well, no, you you won't I, you won't see anything. Well, it, it's just gonna. I'll never know. Yeah, you'll never know. It'll just you know Saturday at noon. You you, you don't want to just be transferred to the new server. Cause, no. Cause, okay. No. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, no. I'm marking you down. I'm gonna type Thank it. Thank you, man. Type it in the computer. Are you kidding me? All right. Bye bye now. All right. Bye. Have have a nice uh, few days. I right, thanks. Bye. Uh huh. Any time. Godspeed. Okay, we're getting much more interesting responses than we were getting in Hobosode 51, I think, anyway. I wonder what kind of conversation that guy's having with his wife right now. <laughs> it's got to be interesting. Hello? Hi, Melanie. It's Roy from the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, hello. Hi. Hey, um, I needed to let you know about something. It's kind of important. If you just have a quick second. Uh, yes. Okay, it's just it's regarding your existence. Uh, we're going to be switching servers, um, like to your uh, to your simulated reality, and we needed to know if you'd like to be switched over to a different server. Like we have a choice. Yeah, of... that would be perfect. Okay, because um, uh, you, you're like where you're at right now. It's just it's not going to exist anymore. They're going to shut it down on Saturday. Okay. But we'll pretty much just instantaneously transfer you to a, a new spot. Perfect. So you're going to retain all your... Do I get to pick, or uh, well, uh, will it just be chosen for me? You're, you're going to, like, you can be the manager of a Dairy Queen. Uh, your name's going to be uh, Cindy, and that's, that's going to okay. be in Tucson, Arizona. Sure. Does that sound good? Because you're a manager, at yeah, least. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I won't even go over the others. That We'll just do that one, then. Saturday... <laughs> Right around noon, that's how long you have to say goodbye to everyone because nobody's coming with you. It's, it's basically... Noon on Sunday. Sounds good. Saturday. Saturday, not, not Sunday. Saturday. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you'll just uh, kind of be there one minute. Next minute, you will be in Tucson. Sure. All right. About time. Thank you for your time. No problem. Hey, what, what's, uh, I mean, what are you doing with life right now? Just out of curiosity, like... I'm actually on the other line with a call, so if that's it about the simulation, then I do have to get back to that. Okay. Hey, there's no reason to tell the people on the other line about the simulation and about them. They're not going to exist after Saturday? Sure. It's, Wouldn't want to put anyone on a sort. Yeah, yeah. There's no, no reason for it. For sure. Yep. All right. You have a good night. Okay. You too. Have a nice existence, Melanie. Bye. Bye-bye. It's so weird how, how just, like, accepting people are. They know it's a joke, obviously, but I was listening to Hobo Sode 51, and the, the one call I heard was, like, some lady, she's like, you take your existence and shove it up your ass, or what did she say? I don't remember. Maybe she didn't say that, but she was much less accepting of the whole thing. That's when I was saying I was with EA Games, and she was a character in The Sims. These people all seem to get it right away. They know what I'm saying, at least. I don't understand why. Maybe it's just the area that I'm calling. Hello. Hey, John. Hello. It's John, hey, can you hear me? I can. Who's this? Okay, great. It's uh, Roy from the Chamber of Commerce. How you doing? Pretty good. Hey, I just needed to let you know um, we're going to be switching servers uh, this coming weekend on Saturday. So the, kind of service? The, the simulated reality that you live in what you think of as the world, basically. 
Uh, it's going to kind of blink out of existence on Saturday. So you might... I don't know what you're talking about. Like, internet? I, I'm trying to explain it to you. Go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, we're going to be uh, moving you over to a, a new existence, a new, a new server in your simulated reality. I don't know what simulated reality means. Uh, it, basically, everything around you is not real. Like, you're just, uh, you know, all, all bits and bytes, data. Um, you're, talk, you're talking about the Internet then, right? Well, sort of. Like, you're a part of the Internet. You're, like, you're not a real person. You don't have a soul or anything. We're, we're gonna yeah, be. Yeah, girl, I have a phone and a car. You have a what? Two oh, I'm sorry, you're cutting out there a little bit. I'm in Home Depot. Okay, so you're switching over this weekend. So what's that mean? Uh, we're your your uh your existence. It's it's just not going to be there anymore. We're going to be moving you to uh, New Mexico. It's like a small town called Roy. Wonderful. You, you're going to be living in Roy, New Mexico. You're going to be a housewife. Named Heidi. Cool. There you go. I can sell sombreros on the side of the street. Okay, sounds okay. like a plan. Yeah, I don't think you understand what New Mexico is like. They're, they don't sell sombreros there. But it's I know a, what New Mexico is. It was a joke. But what's going on? What else can I do? Uh, that, that's pretty much it. I just needed to let you know that uh, you're not going to ex like your your existence is going to uh, cease on Saturday at noon. Uh, the, in, my existence the, where, though? What do you mean by my existence where? Well, well, okay, not your existence, just the reality that you live in. You're on, a, you're on one server, we're switching you over to a new server. And, so are you with AT&T then, or is that what you're talking about? No, no we're, we're what's known hmm. as the Chamber of Commerce. We oversee the uh, simulated realities. There's millions of them. And yeah, you got me lost, brother. <clears throat> I know I have an existence on the internet. And I have an existence on AT and T. Okay, I'm not talking you, about any of that stuff. I'm talking about you as a person. Like you. Why would I be switched over to New Mexico as a person? I don't understand. I live in Liverpool, New York. Right. You're not like Liverpool, New York isn't going to exist anymore. They're shutting it down. The, it's like why? A, it's a computer simulation. Like, it's not real. Oh, okay. every, every, it. Everything you okay. know is a simulation. Okay. So, All right. Well, thanks for the update, brother. So, I'm just letting you know, it. everyone you know uh, is gone, and you're going to be living in New Mexico, Roy, New Mexico. Wonderful. All right. Have a good day. You're going to be a housewife named Heidi. <laughs> All right. Uh, this list, by the way, this list is from Sarah. Sarah O2. Thanks, Sarah O2, for this list. She always sends me lists of names and numbers with nothing else on them from Craigslist, I guess. So these are people that I guess were selling things, but she doesn't tell me that they're selling things. She just gives me the numbers and the first names, usually just the first names. And they come in useful for some things such as this, you know, this, this kind of bullshit where nobody's taking me seriously. I think I should switch over to the western side of the country, though. They're always more gullible over there. They seem to be on top of things in New York. They're just like, yeah, simulated reality, whatever. I get it. Hello. Oh, hey, I was calling for Ed. Is this the? Oh, yeah. uh, is this his NPC? Ed Falkowski. Yeah. Yep. That's the one. Uh, what is it concerning? Uh, we were gonna. I, I'm calling from the Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And uh, we're we're gonna be uh, switching over, switching him over to a new server. His uh, his existence. In the simulated reality that we all live in? I, I'm sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, yeah. I and what you're asking for. Oh, is, is Ed around? Uh, no, not at the moment. Okay, yeah. It's just that, uh, oh, man, I, I don't know if I can really have you pass along a message about this because... Um, but he has nothing to do with the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, no, he, like, it, it's just, uh, okay, so here's the thing. Your entire existence is just a simulated reality. You're just, you're actually in a computer program. You are right now. And so is Ed. So n n nothing around you is real. We're going to be shutting off this server, and we're going to be moving both of you over to a new reality. I'm sorry. And we're not interested. No, it's, Thank it's you. not, it's not, it's, it's, it's... <laughs> Ah, oh well, Ed can just disappear with the rest of humanity. Whatever, not my problem. I did my best. I tried to make the call. Hello. Hello, George. 
Yes. Hey, it's uh, it's Roy from the Chamber of Commerce. Yes, how are you? Pretty good. Hey, I needed to let you know about something. What's that? Uh, we're just doing some server maintenance. Uh, you know, over the coming weekend, over the next few days, and we just wanted to tell you not to leave your house because uh, your your simulated reality it's it's glitching out. You you might fall into you know underneath the house or something. Uh, over the weekend. Yeah, just over the next three days, we're doing some server maintenance. So it, server it, maintenance. Yeah, yeah. If you leave the house, uh, you you may notice some glitching. Uh, you may notice like uh, cars just appearing out of nowhere and disappearing, and people flying, and it's just uh, you know. Yeah, we, my my wife has to go to. Uh, my wife has to go to. Um, she's leaving the States to go to Italy, and she's traveling down to Skinny Atlas. Oh, boy. Outside of Auburn. Where? She's leaving Sunday morning. Okay, that's fine, because we'll be finished by Sunday. Like, if it was before then, we'd have to tell her to cancel the flight, because the airplane could just disappear out of the sky and, you know, maybe reappear in Japan or something, and we don't want that. Like the the, yeah. the the server's glitching out. We've got to reboot. Well, can we leave the house? Uh, we have to take the dog in the kennel Friday. Oh, um, can you? If you do that, can you drive really slow and just walk really slow and just be careful? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, you you understand what I'm saying, right? Like you live in a computer simulation. Like you're not real. So, so the computer, it's, it's, uh, it's bogged down, it's glitching, and uh, you could end up just, just inside of a, a wall or something. You never know. You can't be too careful. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, I'm going to have you talk to my wife here, okay? Okay, yeah, and don't let the dog run. Don't let him run around. Yeah. He, he, might, he might run too fast and... Who knows? Pop up into space. Outer space. We don't want that. Carol. 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 Can you take this call, please? Take this call. It's somebody that's from the Chamber of Commerce. Chamber of Commerce. Well, talk with this person. Hello. Hey, Carol. It's Roy from the Chamber of Commerce. Hi. Hi. I was just letting George know that uh, we're doing a server. We're we're uh, doing some server maintenance. The, the, over the next few days, and it might be best if you guys just don't leave the house. Because the uh, server maintenance. Yeah. What the, do you mean? Well, the the simulated reality that we all live in—it's glitching out, and it seems concentrated there in your neighborhood. So, uh, like, you're just going to notice a lot of uh, just um, like stuff blinking in and out of existence. Like maybe cars yeah. will be driving along, and they'll just skip a few feet and end up up the block and I, I was telling yeah. him not to let the dog run around too much because the dog could you know next thing you know your dog's in outer space or something you don't want mm, you don't want yeah. that so no yeah it's just it's just best if you guys just stick around the house for the next couple of days until the maintenance is all taken care of it should yep. be finished up by saturday at noon okie doke thank you but bye you, you know what i'm saying though right Carol? Hello? Oh, I wish Carol hadn't hung up the phone properly like that lady the other day talking to her dad. I want to hear the conversation between Carol and George right now. You reached Mr. Thorpe of the greater 315 area code. Whoa. Feel free to leave a message.
If you do not leave a message, I will not call you back. Whoa. Wait for it. At the tone, please record your message. Wish he picked up. You've reached Aaron. Leave your name and number. Well, shit. Now nobody's picking up. This list is almost over. Just two people left. Hello. Hello, Jay. Jay? Yeah. It's Roy from the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, what's up? Hey, uh, I needed to let you know we're going to be rebooting the server to your simulated reality existence uh, this coming weekend. And we're going to be switching you over to a new server. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, the server to your simulated reality. Uh, you may not be aware of this, but uh, everything around you is make-believe. It's all just a computer-generated graphics thingy. And... Uh, you just you, you just think the world is real, but what I'm saying is we're going to be shutting it off. We're going to be switching over to new servers. Do you want to be part of the switchover? We can go ahead and sign you up real quick, and uh, you'll you'll uh, your new existence will be in Oregon. <laughs> You're funny. No, I'm completely serious. I'm with the Chamber of Commerce. This is something I have to do. I have to call up everyone here in the area. Just let them know they're shutting down New York. Oh, uh, man, I didn't have enough beer yet. What do you mean beer? What do you need beer for? You're comical. So what are we trying to accomplish tonight? Uh, that's it. I'm just uh, letting you know. The switchover happens on Saturday right around noon. They're going to be uh, completely scrapping this server, so planet Earth won't be existing anymore. Uh, but Oregon will still be there. Like, when we can move you to Oregon. You have a good night, sir. Uh, you, you'll be a female in her uh, mid-40s. Sounds good. Mid-40s? Yep. So I'll be done with the menstruation and all that shit? Yeah, yeah, and you'll be the head of the local homeowners association. Nice. So that's what we're going to... We can go ahead and put you in that. Starting on Saturday at noon, everything else around you is going to cease to exist. Yeah, uh, you have a good night. Okay, so that's a yes then, right? I can go ahead and we can no, go ahead and switch no. you. I never, I never say yes. Okay, never. well then you're not going to exist after Saturday at noon. Damn it! So it's either Oregon or just blank out of existence. That's not a threat or anything. I'm just saying the they're shutting off the server. So just the, and every the, and 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 the server does what exactly? Uh, it's uh, well. Have you ever played The Sims, the video game The Sims? You know what that is? No, I've never played that. No. Okay. No. Well, basically, you're in a video game, no, like a, very similar to what The Sims is. You just you know, there, there's characters in it. You walk around and just live. And you're one of the characters inside of a game that someone else is playing, but they're shutting it down. And I'm just calling up the characters that have become sentient. And, you know, we're offering to let them move if they want to, because it's the right thing to do. So we can switch you over to a new server. No, thanks. Okay, you just, you just want to just be done with it, then. You take care. This is the most interesting phone call I've ever had. Okay. It's probably going to be, like, Thank one you. of the last you've ever had. All right, take care. All right, bye. Well, there we go. That's the end of Sarah O2's list. The ones with names, anyway. She sent me a bunch in here that just don't have names attached to them. I don't know what to do with those. They're just numbers. But thank you, Sarah, for those at least. Those were fun. I want to do a few more of these, but I, like, I don't know. I don't want to call old people because they just don't get it. What else could I call? I guess I could call businesses. I could call employees at businesses, try and convince them they live in a simulated reality. I could be from the corporate office, a.k.a. the server room. I wonder how many of these people think that I was trying to be religious with them because I can kind of see this being the opening of a some sort of a religious argument. Maybe, I think, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should end these with like preaching to them about the Bible and stuff. Be like, uh, have you claimed the Lord and your Savior? Starbucks, this is Riley. How can I help you? Hey, Riley, it's Brad from the corporate office with Starbucks. Hey! How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Pretty good. 
Hey, um, I needed to let you know about something. Me? Yes. Okay. Um, Brad. We're having some server issues there at that location. Okay. So, um, like, ha has your has your boss there explained to you that you actually live in a simulated reality? No, they haven't. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, you're, like, we're we're having ser we're going to be rebooting the server, but until then, you might notice some of the the customers like glitching out. Okay. Can like their orders. No, no, like them as as people like. Oh, as okay, like their accounts and stuff. <laughs> No, no, them, the, the, their human bodies, they might start blinking in and out of existence while they're standing in your store because we're... What? Okay, look, this is hard to explain, and I'm sorry. I might not be doing it that well, but you, you, your existence isn't real. Like, you're a part of a Starbucks computer program, and you just live in a simulated reality inside of the Starbucks. It's, it's hard to hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, hi. Hi, who's this? Is this Riley? Sorry? Is this Riley still? No. Ah, uh, why'd, um, why'd she do that? Who is this? Uh, this is Brad from the corporate office with Starbucks. Okay. Okay, I was... Hold on. Okay, why? Okay. What, what's happening? What happened? Well, that didn't go well. They just hung up on me. But when they start seeing customers appear and disappear right before their eyes, then they'll wish they'd listened. Good afternoon, River from Starbucks. My name is Maddie. What can I get started for you? Hey, Maddie. It's Brad from the corporate office with Starbucks. Hi. Hi. Uh, I needed to let you know about a small issue. Okay. Um, we're having some uh, just kind of problems maintaining the integrity of the simulated reality matrix in, in around your okay. store. The, um, you're going to start to see like customers and, and just um, solid objects appear and disappear in and out of exi existence. Of the, um, like on the security cameras? Oh, no, no. Like, in real life, like, um, I, I'm probably not explaining this very well. Like, you, you, you're part of a, you're not like a real person, you. You're not really actually a real person. You're a part of a Starbucks computer program. You only exist within that store. Okay. And we're having some issues with the computer tonight. They're going to be rebooting the server in a couple hours. But until then, you might start to see uh, customers... Uh, blink in and out of existence, or the entire store could just go empty all of a sudden, or their their bodies could come detached. It, it's hard to explain. Like we don't really know exactly what could go wrong, but we just wanted to let you know so you wouldn't be too worried about it if it happened. Okay. So just uh, you know, just keep it together if it if it happens in your store. Oh, it's, no, it's a normal thing. Like, customers blink in and out of existence here all the time. Totally happened, like, five minutes ago. Okay, well, I don't think you're taking me seriously. This is a real thing. Like, uh, you, you live in a simulated reality, and uh, you're, you're just part of a Starbucks corporate program. It's a training program. Pretty sure I'm for, not. For new employees? No, that's what, a, what that, that's what a computer program would think. That's what your program would What did you say your last name was? I, I didn't, but my last name is Carter. Um, okay, so Brad Carter actually doesn't work for the corporate office. No, like, okay, so I don't work for the corporate office in your reality, but I'm actually in a an alternate universe type corporate office. Like, you're oh, just... Oh, yeah. You, in the training... Okay, yeah, that makes total sense. Totally. It, no, look, in the training program that you exist in, there is no Brad Carter in the corporate office. But in oh, the, yeah, no, I totally get what you're saying, though. In the real corporate totally. office, in the real world, I do exist, and I, I'm just here in the technical support. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for like the call. This is super helpful. Okay, well, I'm just like you're I I know you're not taking me seriously, but when you start seeing that stuff happen, you'll know I'm I'm being truthful with you. Oh no, I'm totally taking you seriously. Okay. Like like you Why would I not take that seriously? Of course. Like you think you go home like you think you go home at the end of the day and all that, but you, you don't no. exist outside of the store. 
It, no, like, I actually it, don't even leave the store. I, like, live in the store. Well, no, you don't. You just kind of, like, they shut the program no, down. I totally, and, I totally live in the store. Your, your, your life is just repeating. It's on a loop. So it, it's just to train totally. other, other employees. That's yeah, all. Yeah, for sure. That's how it works. That's how it So we'll have the server problems. Uh, we'll have it all rebooted in a couple hours. And okay, the, well, the, awesome. I mean, that sounds so fantastic. Like, I'll just watch for the blinking customers and, you know, like, totally normal around here. Yeah, just it totally happens all the time. Don't even worry about it. Thanks for the call. Pretend it's not really happening, and it'll be fine. And after it reboots, you won't remember this conversation between me and you. You'll just go on like normal. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm not even worried about it. Okay, all right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want any issues. Wonderful. All right. Whoa, that was a heavy hang-up. That sounded like she had one of those old Western electric phones. She, like, threw that thing down. Sandy Starbucks, this is Kira. Hey, Kira. Uh, this is Brad from the corporate office with Starbucks. Hi. Hi. Uh, I need to let you know about some uh, computer issues. We're going to be rebooting in about two hours. Okay. Um, it's... Um, do you, would you want to talk to the shifts about that, or... Uh, you know, like that with them, you know? If you could just let them know, we're going to be rebooting. Um, it's part of the computer that it's, it houses the uh, your your, in, your entire uh, existence. It's like you know you live in a simulated reality and all that. Uh huh. Okay. So you're not going to be working at Utah anymore, as of in about two hours. Uh, you, you'll look outside and you'll notice that you're in Canada. Cause we're we're opening up a um you know there's it's like a new location up in Canada it's okay so, um, so like um you know it's it's just like don't be concerned about it it's just you're gonna be in Canada in two hours like all your customers coming in are gonna John, be John how's it going oh, hello hi hey there who's this what can I do for you? I'm the supervisor on duty oh okay great hey did you say John yes. Okay, it's it's Brad from the corporate office with Starbucks. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just explaining to her that um, the, you, you guys are. I don't know if you're in, any of you are aware of this, but you're you're actually a part of a simulated reality. It's part of the Starbucks training computer. Okay. And we're gonna be doing a reboot in about two hours, and you're not gonna be in Utah anymore. You're gonna be up in Canada, in Alberta. Okay. So, like, you're going to notice that all your customers are going to suddenly start being Canadian. Just don't be concerned about it. It's fine. It's just a part of the, the switchover. Okay. And that's, that's pretty much it. Everything, operations are pretty much the same. You'll notice the prices are a little bit different on the menu board when you look up in about two hours. It's going to be in Canadi okay. Canadian dollars. Okay. Well, so, we have to, like, switch to the Canadian like dollar side of it or are we able to still use the US side of it? Uh no the only Canadian money up there. You're gonna be like way up there up north in Alberta. Okay. So just Canadian money. It it'll the changes will appear automatically on the menu. Everyone coming in will have Canadian money. It's and you know most people's gonna use their cards anyway. They they work the same as yeah. down where okay. you, down where you are. So, yep, about two hours, you'll, you'll just notice uh, the change. Uh, inside the store should look pretty much the same. Okay. So it's just operations as usual. Okay. Uh, any questions? No, I don't think so. Okay. And, um, you know, you don't have to call anyone. The, the people that you think you know in Utah, they don't actually exist. They're, they're just a part of the training program. They're all NPCs. Like everyone, okay, cool. you, everyone you know, your family, friends, they're they're not real. Okay. So, uh, yep, you're well, you're in thanks Canada. Thanks for giving us the heads up. Sure, no problem. Just uh, let all the other employees know. Okay, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for being a part of the team. Bye. Bye. I do not know how to read that guy. Was he believing it? I mean, obviously, no, he wasn't believing it. But whatever. I think I'm going to give up on this. I wasn't planning on doing this for an hour, but here I am. It's been an hour. 
I bet you secretly, though, he'll be waiting. Like in a couple hours, he'll be looking outside. Sorry, Am I in Canada yet? Hello, um, I'm calling from the corporate office with Starbucks. Hi. Hi, uh, we've been noticing some uh, computer anomalies there in your store. Have you noticed any problems? No. Like, like uh, customers glitching out or disappearing or anything like that? No, we don't have any people glitching out. Okay, um, like, have they told you about the, uh, you know, that you live in a simulated reality and all that? No. Your, your, your supervisors? I'm actually one of the supervisors, and I haven't heard that, actually. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, um, like, you're, ba you're basically inside of a Starbucks training computer, like, you, you're, you're not a real person, you're just part of a simulation, kind of like in, you're, you're like one of the characters in The Sims, basically. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, okay. And, um, yeah, it's like, I guess they're having server issues, so they, they were saying, like, stuff keeps freezing up inside your store, and, like, customers are just standing there, not moving, or glitching out. Oh. Well, I haven't had anybody, um, say anything about it. Well, they wouldn't say anything. They, w they wouldn't know what's happening to them. Like, like they, they would just be, like, they, they might just be there one second, and the next second they just disappear from reality. Yeah. That that hasn't happened at all. No, not that I've noticed. Has Has anyone tried to pay with Canadian money? That's usually a dead giveaway about a problem. No, nobody's tried to pay with Canadian money. Everybody's been um, paying with like card and everything. Okay, and and American money, just normal American money. Yes. Has anyone um, like when they've been talking? Have they has it sounded kind of like a uh, like um, like glitchy or computery, like robotic? Like on a bad cell phone connection, like. Um. Right now, it seems like I can hear my voice in the background. Oh yeah, I think we're just on a bad connection. It could be a part of the computer issues. Um. Other than that, no. Uh, and and nobody's like uh like you know run in screaming that their spouse disappeared. Or. You know, maybe their car got stolen, quote unquote. No. Okay, and um, all right, that that sounds good. Then I I think everything should be fine. They're going to do a server reboot in about two hours, so just just uh, you know, be watching for that. You might you might notice some people uh, disappear when that happens. Okay. And uh, also, when when it reboots, you're going to be in Canada. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, like, you won't be in Nevada anymore. You'll be in Canada, and all of your customers are going to be Canadian. They'll be using Canadian money. Okay. It's, it's just going to be for uh, three or four days while they uh, try and figure out the issue on the server. Okay. You, un you understand, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, like, you, you'll just, you'll be in Canada. Like, in two hours, you will exist in Canada. You, your okay. your entire matrix is gonna move up there. Alrighty. You, you got it. Yep, it, I got it, it. It doesn't seem like you're totally understanding. Because I'm really busy right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm understaffed on my floor. Okay. Can you let all the employees know that they're gonna be in Canada in about two hours when they do the server reboot? Yeah. Like you guys are gonna be in Canada. Like you will exist in Canada. You will no longer be in Las Vegas. Okay. Like all of you, you're going to be in Canada. Okay. All right. Just as long as you understand that, you're going to be your your next paycheck's going to come in Canadian dollars. All righty. Which is worth Anything more. Else? I really got to go right now. Okay. Can you put a customer on the phone? I just need to talk to a customer and verify with them that no no issues are happening. Uh, hold on, just a second. Then. Okay, just a customer. Aw, she hung up. She didn't get a customer. You know what? I'm sending her entire staff to Siberia. Send them to the Starbucks in Siberia. We'll see how they like that. She's not going to play ball. That's what she gets. Hi, Brad. It's Max Power. So I have kind of an oh. idea for a spinoff of Will It Flush. Okay. It's called Will It Drive. And this is where you can call up uh, rental car companies, say that you have the car, and you put things like chocolate syrup and Pepsi in the gas 
gas uh, they got gas tank. Yeah. And basically tell them, you know, he did a YouTube show to find out uh, if you can put various things in the gas tank to see if it would drive. That sounds and hilarious. Just see what comes of that. I I'm just do think it. it'd be a really interesting idea. You can call it Enterprise and all the other running car places, and I think it might actually work out pretty well. So it's just a, just an idea. All right, take care, Cactus Cactus. Yeah, I can see people getting upset about that, talking down to me, treating me like an idiot for just trying to entertain people. I'll try to remember that one. That hey, sounds fun. Fred. I'm I'm using a stopwatch to make sure I, I don't go over a minute. Okay, because I'm a little. A little stoned, and I don't want to babble for too long. Anyway, what was my point? I had a point. Uh, something yeah, about oh yeah, up. Um, you're fucking up. So like, how long do you see yourself doing prank calls? I mean, you're in your 40s now. You're an old fuck. So am I. I've been following PLA off and on for since the 90s. Yeah. But anyway, like, do you see yourself? Why with, stop like, now? You know, you haven't gotten you tired know? of it in 20 plus years. Are you gonna be doing this like at 60? Are you gonna be like an yeah. old man still just like calling up people? I'm not promising anything. <laughs> old man prank like that's never been done you could be the first like the, the first old man prank caller that's that, true like, prank call podcast and i don't know if it'll be like more pathetic when i'm 60 or less pathetic but who knows we may find out keep supporting the patreon everyone so i think you should aspire for that and you know never give up the dream yeah <laughs> all right the dream i don't even know at least my parents won't be around anymore so you know they won't be disappointed okay. when i'm 60 and you did good. That was a 58-second voicemail. I'm proud of you. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hello. Great show so far. Um, I just had uh, one question. Um, is the United States expected withdrawal of military power in the region of Southeast Asia likely to vest that responsibility on such leaders as Shinzo Abe of Japan? Okay, thanks, and Crimson. So, how is that likely to affect the outcome of such conflict as the Rohingya genocide yep. in Myanmar. Great, great voice, and man. Sorry, I don't know the answer. Maybe someone in the comments knows. So, I remember I uh, had a cousin of mine tell me how great this uh, prank was by John Cena. And I showed him a prank that was done better by... Uh, oh, shit. I'm starting to lose my train of thought. I think you need a stopwatch. Fuck me. I, it was the one about flushing sand down the toilet oh that one well ever since then i i got a new There's snow so many of those. show friend, friend here and now these like ones that you're flushing shit down the toilet i every time i hear it, it just brings a huge smile to my face man i'm so Aww. happy i'm glad and, uh, that's all i had to say sounds like a nice bromance you know next time you piss off your landlord you know you do something really stupid and they want to evict you just bring them inside and pull up the PLA channel and show them a couple of the Will It Flush calls. And you guys will become best friends. They'll, they'll think it's so funny and they'll appreciate what a good tenant you are because at least you don't do that, you know? Isn't that a great idea? Hey, this is Paul. I heard my name on your show. Um, I need my coins. Uh, oh, really? My address is P.O. Box 94339. Ah, I don't think I said your name on my show. There's only one person left that has not given me their address, and I cannot remember his name, but it definitely wasn't Paul. Hey, Brad, it's Freak Show. I just saw that you got your package of goodies. I'm calling you from the uh, Twin Deer payphone, so... Oh, hey, Freak uh, Show. hope you enjoy it, and uh, yeah, it's pretty enjoy awesome. that bus set. You can actually use that for calls if you hook it up, uh, the red to red and the black to green, so you can use that for calls if I you want to. I bet you I can it. hook it up the other way, too. It still, uh, still works work. pretty good, so just thought I'd uh, give you a voicemail and say hi. Cactus, cactus. Thanks, Freak Show. So, Freak Show, like, remember Big Bird sent me a payphone, which is in the Situation Room, and every once in a while I do a show where I sit in the recliner chair and answer calls on the payphone, all thanks to Big Bird. The payphone that Big Bird got for me, it had a black coin box, like just a boring black plain coin box. No offense, Big Bird, it's still an awesome payphone. But Freak Show was nice enough to send me a replacement coin box, and this one is all shiny, and it says Illinois Bell on it, and it has the Bell logo, and it gives me the biggest boner ever. So thank you, Freak Show, for that. He also sent me a lineman's handset thing, one with a rotary dial. Someone else gave me one of those as a present a long time ago. You know, a rotary dial lineman's handset, and it came with the added present of the state police showing up at my house a week or two later and demanding that I give it back to them. Apparently it was stolen. This was back in the early 2000s when I lived in Illinois still. 
That was a fun time. The police thought I was like the mastermind behind some hacking thing that he was doing. And he told the police that he gave me stolen property. Like, n not that I think that this is stolen property. Freak Show is a legitimate collector of phone equipment. Just, you know, 15 and 20 years ago, that stuff wasn't as easy to come by. And people would steal it out of phone company trucks. So it's nice to have one of these back. I always thought it was a cool thing to have. I'm sure I'm going to use it just for testing things around the house. Hello, Brad. Hey. It's me again. Hey. Called a week ago. Anyway, I was wondering why you stopped doing the thing to where someone said, like, Corbin guy, away. Oh, because it's annoying. A little effect thingy. Why did you stop doing that, you damn hobo? I don't know. It's fun for like a week, but then every voicemail ended anyway, with it. Anyway, I'll call annoying. Next week like, Another fuck this shit. For you, motherfucker. Anyway, Cactus Cactus, goodbye. You know, I have to make rules. Show you guys who's in control around here. Show you listeners who wears the pants in the family. I want to be a technical writer. Hey, oh, Roy. Nice. Um, so in your last uh, Will It Flush episode, um, you've been putting a lot of them on YouTube. And I had a suggestion. Okay. Um, if you throw up the, um, the one where you were uh, flushing Don Dish Soap down your toilet... Um, the icon you, you, uh, put in the, the thumbnail of the video, it better be squeaky clean. There better be some shiny spots you throw in from Photoshop and stuff. Make it look real clean, like, otherwise of Don's going to sue you. Um, so, yeah. so definitely make sure you uh, give him a good look. I'll definitely do that. And that was it. I don't, I don't want any trouble. I won't let Don down. Hello, this is Bob Murphy. I wrote this song for you. Oh. Bob Murphy. It's a great song. Bob Murphy. I'm Bob enjoying Murphy. this. Bob Murphy. Goodbye. That was pretty great. Thank you, Bob Murphy, for that one. Hey, Brad, I forgot to ask. Uh, did you guys ever, do, you and Stacey end up doing any more phone calls? Next uh, no, we did not. We did the ones you heard on the show, except for the few that I deleted because they weren't that funny. So, yeah, everything you heard on the show, that's what you got. By the way, Stacy's starting up a show again, apparently. She's promising a show this week or next or over the weekend or something. I think when she does her show, I'm going to do one like at the same time and compete with her just to piss her off. It'll be hilarious. Hey, Roy, it's Carson and you. And we're sitting here drinking a couple beers, uh, listening to your show. That's great. Um, I had a suggestion. Uh, people seem to get pretty angry when you say you're going to take over pieces of the, their land. So uh, say you're going to take over some of their land and uh, you're going you're gonna to put uh, bike racks in front of their house. Okay. All right. That's all for now. It's Fuck the law. You. They have to have a bike rack. I did some calls like that a long time ago and I never put them up anywhere. I think I may still have them somewhere on a hard drive because I did them for somebody else. They weren't for the public. And I was telling people that the county was putting easements on their property. I forget for what reason. Like maybe there was no reason. Maybe we just wanted it. We're just like, you're not doing anything with it. So we're going we're gonna to take it. It's ours now. Stay off. And you're right. They were not happy. I should do some more of those. Kind of like those people who I said I was going to put parking lots in their front yards or bike paths or whatever. Railroads. Yeah, I need to steal some land. That'll be great. Roy, I'm not supposed to be listening to you right now, okay. but I'm calling you at 11.06 p.m. Canada. Oh. Oh, well, if they don't get caught listening to you, his wife hates you. Oh, his wife hates me. That's great. Sounds like a healthy marriage. Hey, Brad. Lord of Veggies again. Hey. I hope you're impressed by my ninja skills sneaking on your hobo sode like that. Yep, I was Other impressed. That, I was saying Ruby. You guys are in the precious gym. Ruby. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ask for the ruby. Okay. It's the yeah. name of a drink there. It was freaking amazing. All right. All right. Have a good one. I thought it was like a secret message. Why won't this hang up? I thought I was going to go in there and ask for something, and they'd hand me a piece of paper or an envelope with something in it. That would have been great. Brad Carter. Fuck this that shit. I don't care about drinks. I was ah, shit. Sorry. I was talking over you. Brad Carter, this is Sensei Dog Ungage. I hey. was listening to your Willis Flush the Kanze Kings and I had an idea. I'm going to post a comment, but the comment is that I want you to say that you have flushed the baby diapers them down the toilet. Again, Brad, that is the baby diapers down the toilet. Not the baby. Okay. 
back again. Just the just diapers. So you know who I am. Before I go over the limits, this is the same guy that called you. They said, that, 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 that. Take care, man. Peace. Okay. Of the baby diapers. Step down the I know, toilet. I know. I heard you. Baby diapers. Down the toilet. I'll try to remember that. If I ever do, will it flush again? Roy, big fan. Hey. Hey, I had an idea for a Will It Flush series. Of course you do. What if you told them that you were actually flushing a large amount of feces and see if they complain about that? And, you know, you can play that really gross uh, shitting sound effect that Carlito likes to use a lot. Yeah. And uh, just shit a lot with them on the phone. Okay. I think that might be funny. I'll do it. Say I've been saving it up for years. It's for my channel. That's what I'll do. Okay, that was the last voicemail. Thank you, all the voicemail people, for leaving voicemails, for giving me advice, for singing songs for me. And thanks to the sponsors, Brown Magic, Curaz, Gobi, I Regret Jumping, Teen Wolf Jesus. You guys keep the shows happening and all that. And I really appreciate you all. Don't forget to listen to Cave Crew Radio tomorrow. I finally looked at the time. It's 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern. I don't know what we're doing on Cave Crew Radio. Probably news stories or something. Bye, everyone. See you next time. That's cool shit, man. That's cool stuff.